He opens up, I shoot. I get the hell out of there and I don't look back. Don't look him in the eyes, just shoot! Come on, think of Sean. Think of Sean. Shit, I can't. I can't. I've never used a gun. How hard can it be? All I have to do is pull the trigger. Yeah? What do you want? Oh, fuck it. I said a thousand times that I don't want any junkies at my door. If you want to score, man, you gotta fucking call first. Come on. Beat it. The guy's a dealer. A goddamn dope dealer. People die as a result of his actions. Sean's life is worth more than that. Kill a man. I'm gonna kill a man to save my son. What kind of a choice is that? Let's hope he's home alone. Fuck! Are you deaf or what? I should get out of here! You're gonna cause me trouble, and I don't like trouble. Fuck off! Hey! Take it easy, man, huh? Keep cool. <laughs> what do you want? Dope? Money? Tell me what you need. Sure we can make a deal, huh? God! I'm gonna blow your brains out, you son of a bitch! <laughs> You think you can come into my house and steal my dope? You're gonna be shooting up in hell, motherfucker! Stop! Stop! Will you stop fucking moving? Nowhere to hide, junkie man. I give you whatever you want. Got dope? I got cash? You, you want some dope? Please. Please don't kill me, man. I got children. These are my girls, see? This one's Sarah. And a little one. That's Cindy. Please, man. I want to see them again. Please, please don't shoot. <laughs> I'm a father too. But I'm no killer. Mad? It's Sam. I got your information. And the owner of the apartment in Marble Street is a Dr. Adrian Baker. He's a struck-off surgeon. They used to sell drugs to junkies on the quad. He made some cash and bought up some cheap-ass apartments, including the one in Marble Street. Of course, he got caught. He did a few months in prison and was struck off the medical register. Interesting. Thanks for the information, Sam. I owe you one. Hey, Mad. Be careful. Okay. I'm on it. Talk to you later.
The owner of the apartment where Ethan cut off his finger lives here. It's not much of a lead, but it's all I've got. I'm gonna act all doped up. I hope he goes for the bait. Gotta find some way to get him to talk about the Marble Street apartment. Hi. Uh, I was told that you could get Betrofen. Without a prescription. Sorry, you were misinformed. Goodbye. Uh, hold on. I, I, I really need your help here. I can pay. Well, why didn't you say so? Please, come in. So, you're looking for betrothed, my dear? Are you having trouble sleeping? How much do you need? I don't know, um, about three, four boxes. Well, no, that shouldn't be a problem. Would you like a drink? I was just about to have one. No, thanks. Well, alcohol helps take the edge off the pills, don't you think? Anyway, we should drink a toast to our first deal. I haven't seen you around here before. Who told you about me? I met a guy at a party. He popped some betropin. Told me he got it from you. Can you get other types of medicine? Everything has a price, my dear. What about you? Do you have a price? Forget it. I'm not for sale. I heard you had some apartments for rent. I'm looking. Sorry, darling. Those are all booked up. Shame. I was looking for something around Marble Street. You're not drinking? I am, um, um, I'm, I'm not really thirsty. I'll get your prescription. Won't be a moment. Wait here. That guy gives me the creeps. I better take a look around to see if I can find anything before he gets back. Could the doc be the origami killer? There's something about the way he looks. The doc seems to be interested in property, amongst other things. He seemed to be upset that I wouldn't drink. I get the feeling I did the right thing. Looks like he retired a bunch of medical supplies on his way out. There's enough sleeping pills here to knock out an army. A sound. He's near. Quick, I gotta find something. Maybe a quick look behind those doors. I'll make up some lies if he finds me.
little ferret. We're gonna have some fun together, my darling. I promise. <laughs> Say hello to Matthew. He claimed he had come to the census. Another one of those goddamn government spies. So, you're interested in my Marble Street apartment. I rent it to my friend Paco, if you must know. I have no idea what he does there. Maybe that's where he fornicates with his dancers from the Blue Lagoon. <laughs> To be honest, I don't give a damn. Just as long as he pays his rent, he can do whatever he likes. But enough with the chit-chat. I miss surgery, you see, so I take every opportunity to practice. Oh my god, practice. he's gonna cut me up. I don't have any instruments here, so I use whatever comes to hand. I hope you won't hold that against me. Hold tight. Is that stinger? <laughs> Have you ever noticed? As soon as you start to do a little housework, someone always comes calling. I'll get rid of our visitor and be right back. Don't move. I won't be long. the Lord in the form of these magnificent Bibles, which I would gladly leave with you, in return for a contribution of only five dollars. No thanks, I'm not interested. Come now, brother. I cannot believe the word of the Lord is of no interest to you. We, his humble flock, should walk in his steps, for St. John has said... Uh, thanks a lot, but I don't need anything. does not need a Bible in these times of violence and hatred. The Holy Scripture will bring you peace and tranquility any time you need it. All for me is five dollars. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Ha 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 